Good morning, students, and welcome to our e-learning session for class tenth for social science. And today we are on lecture number two, lesson number nine, that is forest and wildlife resources. So, students, before we start a new lecture and new topic, let's take a recap. Uh, recap what we have discussed in previous lecture. So, first of all, the forest. We discuss about the meaning of the forest. as we know the existence progress and development of man is depend on resources and we got this resources from our nature most of the resources we are collecting from the nature and most of the natural resources we get from the forest then we learn about the definition of the forest so forest is accumulation of trees scrubs herbs and the heap of grass so this is the definition of forest we discuss about the types of forest in previous classes as well and in this chapter and previous lecture we have discussed about the classification of forest according to the management according to the ownership and according to the administration types of forest according to the administration at that time, in that point we have discussed about the reserve forest so what is the reserve forest reserve forest are such a forest are under the control of the government either it is the state government or the central government here there is a restriction on the lumbering collection of wood and for the pasturing protected forest protected forest are look after by the administration or the local self government and the local people are allowed to uh, cut the woods and graze their animal without the causing any trees or any uh, environment then we talk about the unclassified forest such a forest are still not classified and there is a no restriction on the tree felling or animal grazing after that we discuss about the classification of forest according to the ownership administration and management so the forest of india are classified into three types on the basis of ownership administration and management first is a state forest state forests are the forests which are look after and the control by the state or the central government and most of the forest of our country falls under this criteria then communal forest local self government gram panchayat district panchayat municipality municipal corporation control this type of forest have the control on such a forest then last is a private forest so such a forest is owned by the an individual such a forest are found more in odisha punjab meghalaya and himachal pradesh and some of forest of this types are is haphazard in condition and some of them are totally barren so these three types of forest we are what we have discussed then we talk about the deforestation the major problem the entire world is facing is about the deforestation so what is the deforestation so meaning of the deforestation is the destruction of the forest in a simplest manner we can say deforestation means destruction of forest then this is not a problem of our country only but this is the entire or the globally problem global problem and it can be said that the result of progress of man and this deforestation is the result of progress of man as starting of the lecture and in previous lecture we have also discussed for our betterment for our development for our progress we required a raw material basic resources and this resources we get from the nature so deforestation is a result of progress of man then there are destroyed naturally and even sometime it's happen that naturally forests are cutting down but this is very negligible uh, inflicted by the human interferences then we talk about the impact of deforestation very deeply very nicely we have discussed as well as it is very important point so the impact of deforestation is widespread the quantity of carbon dioxide is increase 
in the atmosphere greenhouse effect become the more intensive with the removed forest cover the soil is eroded and the problem of the firm fertility is increased in the forest of peninsula of india so this point we have to keep in mind due to the deforestation global warming problem greenhouse effect problem then the at, uh, temperature of the earth is increasing and number of other problem uh, arise due to the deforestation even the number of uh, animals and birds lost they are about that what we have discussed then in another point what we have learned in previous lecture was remedies for the forest conservation when we know the problem problem then we should know the solution also or we should come out with the solution so previous lecture we talk about the remedies for the forest conservation number of remedies we have discussed so research should be carried out to find out option of a wood that is the major point and main issue as we required wood for the different purpose so research should be obtained and carried out for the replacement of the wood in place of wood there should be some option this will be reduce the use of wood and other necessity new trees of the same species should be grown if we are cutting down any trees then we should grow this is our moral responsibility that we should grow the same type and the same number of tree in place of the tree what we are cutting then those industries which receive their raw materials from the forest should be compelled for the afforestation for a future work and future need this is also important point so those industries which received their raw material from the forest should be compelled for the afforestation for future needs under the name of ecotourism the forest cover should not be damaged and should be strictly controlled so this point also we have to keep in mind widespread public awareness program should be organized among the local people awareness is most important thing so if we are aware if we are respectful towards the society towards the nature then this will be the more helpful to us the importance of forest and then conservation strategy should be included in the syllabus of schools and colleges they should be explained in the necessity for forest conservation so this point also we will keep in mind social forestry and agroforestry should be developed intensively by taking the plan steps for the necessity of fodder and firewood in place of firewood alternative options like the solar energy natural gas should be implemented forest resources should be used sparingly in order to make the process of trees growth faster and healthier infested trees should be removed forest fire cause a heavy damage to forest a separate system or a force at a national level should be created for the dosing the fire due to the increase means of the transportation and easy travels thousands of pilgrims reach the religious places in forest area to attend the bhandara fairs and the parikrama that is a circular travel what we says at the time in the litter should be cleared properly otherwise the forest get polluted an area should be demarcated and reserved for the animal pasture these are the point what we have discussed in the previous lecture now be, today we will begin with another important point that is a wildlife diversity india is the land of diversity we are having the cultural diversity rich heritage even we are having the rich diversity in wildlife in the nature in the plant and the animal life in that manner we can say india is uh, having the rich heritage and rich wild diversity so there is a large diversity in climate and physiography in india as we know we are having the mountain in vegetation we are having desertate vegetation we are having mangrove desertation all most of all types of vegetation we are having in our country so in that sense india is having the beautiful and the wide diversity 
Due to this geographical diversity, a large veg, uh, variation in the seeing among the insects, birds, animals and vegetation. Now you will be surprised that in India number of trees, number thousands, more than thousands of birds and species, birds, animals and uh, insects, different species we are having in our country. So there are about 15 lakh species of animals, birds in the world. See the variety, see the variation of different species of the birds and animal. As a human we feel we are on the top of the food chain and we are the most powerful social animal. But apart from this there are more than 15 lakh of different types of species of birds, animals and insects on the earth is uh, surviving. So out of this 81,251 species are found in India. See the magic number. And the vast large number 81,251 different types of species are present in our country. So you just image how wonderful we are having the this type of uh, variety of the animals and the bird life. India stand 12th in the world in term of biodiversity. And we are having a good rank as well. We are on 12th rank in the biodiversity. Animals from Asia, Europe and Africa are seen in India. Not only the animals which are like uh, reside in our country, but the animals of the Asia, Europe and Africa are seen in our country. African jarak, European wolf, wild goat and Kashmir deer, elephants and gibbons from the Southeast Asia are found here. Now these all are the African jarak and the European wolf, wild goat and Kashmiri deer, elephants and gibbons from the Southeast Africa. Asia also they are found in our country. So the biodiversity of India includes the black bear, one horn rhino, deer, different types of snake, peak, peacock, gorad that is a bustard. Okay, hawk, kingfisher, flamingo and etc. The snow leopard in Himalaya and the red panda found at the same altitude and distinguished animal here. See on the slide you can see the picture of the animals. Gibbons, Kashmiri deer, wolf, this is a jarak and these are the European or the Asian or the African animal which we found in our country. The snow leopard in the Himalay and the red panda found at the same attitude, altitude and the distinguished animals here. So even the red panda and the snow leopard, both the species, these animals we found in our Himalayan region. Currently, India is the only country in the world where tiger, lion are seen moving in their natural abode. Now, students, you know, African lions are found in the African region. Tigers are found in a, some different region of the world. As both are having different types of habitat, lion and tiger, both we consider as the king. But both are having the different habitat. But in our Gujarat only, we can see lion, tiger and leopard. All three species, big species of cat family we, and this in entire world. Gujarat is the only place where we can see this all three big cat families species. So in India is the only country where the lion and tiger move in the natural abode. During winter migratory birds from distant, uh, distant places during into the watershed area of Keola uh, Dev National Park, Bharatpur and Nal Sarovar in Gujarat to spend the winter. These all are the bird sanctuary. Keola Dev, Bharatpur National Sanctuary and the Nal Sarovar. These all are the bird sanctuary and the migratory birds. Those who travel thousands of kilometers. So they travel to the warmer places like in India and they stay over here and they give to the younger ones in this area. So the migratory birds they uh, travel for the thousands of kilometer uh, we can find these animals over birds over here. 
Sea turtles came to lay, uh, lay the eggs along to sandy coast of Odisha, Indian python, various snake and the king cobra are found in the southern rainforest. Now see student here you just uh, image how wonderful and how diverse life we are having animals and the bird life we are having in our country. So uh, sea turtles that came to lay eggs along the sandy coast of Orissa, Indian python, various types of snake like the king cobra and the rattlesnake and uh, found in the southern rain forest. So how many different types of animals and bird species, the diversity of the animals and the bird life we are having. See here you can see the endergent animals that what we are having in our country. So wildlife on extinction. Now due to our requirement for our happiness or for to we are killing the animal for different purpose and number of animals are now it is endangered in danger they all these animals are very in danger as we kill them for our pleasure for their skin for their fur for their hook and so uh, many other purposes so today many wild animals in the world are on the verge of extinction Tigers were found throughout the India during last century. Tigers were seen in the forest of Eder, Ambaji, Danta. Today tigers are totally extinct from the Gujarat forest area. Now see this is the very worst condition. Not only in Gujarat, not only in India but entire part of the world this type of situations occur. For our happiness, for our uh, uh, like you know for our use we are harming the animals and number of animals due to this activities they become the extinction. So today many wild animals in the world are of the verge of extinction. Tigers were found throughout the uh, 100 years back. Tigers were found also in Gujarat like in uh, Eder and the Ambaji and Danta. Now in Gujarat we can't see the tiger. Now it is uh, re-established, resettled in the forest of Vadai and that near to the uh, Sardar Sarovar but still they are in danger. So cheetah is also extincting from the Indian forest. Now see students you should know the difference between the leopard and cheetah. Leopard jisko hum kehte tendwa Hindi mein we says it's a tendwa and cheetah is a cheetah there is a difference type and there is a significant difference between the leopard and a cheetah. So cheetah is also extincting, uh, extinct from the Indian forest. Many bird species which were very easily seen in India, forests are now hardly seen. Good example of sparrow, local sparrow, Deshi Chakli, you know, now the project has started, save sparrow. Even the sparrow is in danger. Some of them like the vulture, duck with the pink throat, cranes, owls are on the very verge of the extinction. These all are the few examples students. Many of the uh, animals and birds like you know they are in very danger and like we are harming and we are killing them like that they are in endangered position. Chitro bird once widespread in Arunachal of the northeast is not seen too easily. Now even as I said a sparrow, small sparrow it is very difficult to see in the like you know in our environment in daily life. So even the chilotro bird once widespread in Arunachal Pradesh in the north is not seen to so easily. You have to visit to some foresty area or the dark area might be you can see over there. There is a danger of survival to the alligators of the fresh water of river of Ganga river dolphin. Even the alligator and the Ganga river dolphin. You know this. Alligator and crocodile. Again, like there is a difference in leopard and cheetah. Same there is a difference between alligator and crocodile. And river Ganga dolphin. You know river Ganga dolphin is our national aquatic animal. That is also in uh, we can say in the on the extinction level. 
so there is a danger of survival to the alligator of the fresh water of rivers and ganga river dolphin the number of sea turtle approaching the coast of orissa and gujarat is constantly decreasing the sea turtle with uh, which approach to the gujarat and the odisha coast for uh, laying the eggs and to give their birth to their babies now this is also in the decreasing manner waterfowl that is a jal biladi jal kukdi jal biladi one found in frequently in the narmada tapi mahi and sabarmati river of gujarat is almost extinct even the waterfowl like you know ke we are not they are not safe in any type of uh, habitant or any type of area now so even they are extinct a time has come for us to think about this seriously students we have to keep in mind that on the chart of the animals life and that we are on the top we consider ourselves as the most uh, intelligent powerful but here we have to keep in mind that all animals birds insects every living organism is as equally important like me and you like a human even they are having right absolute perfect and the as right like you and me but due to our thoughtless work careless behavior and due to like we are killing them we are uh, destroying their habitat we are destroying their home and now this all types of species are like extincting on the now what is the reason for the destruction of wildlife if you remember in previous lecture we have talk of the deforestation we had a talk of the deforestation and the impact of the deforestation as human our wants are unlimited we like to do the development and human is a dynamic it uh, with the nature like you know continuously we are making progress and development and to meet this development to come out uh, to do this development and the progress we require number of resources we require the raw material and resources and obviously we are getting this resources and raw material from the nature most of the raw material we are getting from the resources uh, natural resources for our uh, purpose our betterment we are clearing the forest for farming purpose we are cutting down the forest to get the natural resources from the forest we are cutting down the trees we are hunting animals we are killing them though there are number of things to eat but we are killing animal for our food Uh, for their skin and teeth and bones and number of thing so what are the reason for the destruction of the wildlife so let's discuss on it due to the human interferences in grassland and in watershed area to the forest the natural habitat of the wildlife is in put in danger now see due to the human interferences in the grassland grassland there is a eco life ecosystem of the grassland we know and now we enter to this grassland and we are cutting and we are clearing the grasslands so again we are disturbing the ecosystem so due to the human interferences in grassland and in a watershed area of the forest watershed area of the forest also we are clear uh, cl clearing that area and we are doing some human activities over there so the natural habitat of the wild animals in put in danger and when we are clearing this forest uh, grassland or watershed area of the forest the animals or the birds or the insects which is a abode which is a home for them so we are destroying their home and without home you know as if someone takes our home so we can't it's difficult to survive so this types of animals and bird who reside over there who lives who depend on this types of forest uh, area of the grassland or the forest they can't survive so this is also a first reason destruction of forest is the main reason of responsible for the natural imbalance very important point to be note destruction of forest or the deforestation is the main reason 
for responsible for the natural imbalance whatever the imbalance we are seeing in our nature it is the result of deforestation now we know for why we are doing deforestation and due to this deforestation number of imbalance total ecosystem is disturbed it's a final impact in the reduction in the number of wild animals and due to the deforestation there is a destruction and the imbalance in the ecosystem and reduction in the number of wild animals as we are taking they are abort from them it is not safe to reside over there it is not safe for them to live over there so this is the main reason what is uh, what we can say so deforestation is the main reason hunting the animal to obtain the hair skin that is a hide bones horns or the nails is also responsible a uh, few foolish say that if you know that to drink a uh, tiger uh, blood fresh bull blood or the crocodile bloods and skin is very good and uh, it gives the fortune and so like you know number of mites are uh, are there so this is our foolishness or the stupid activities what we what we are doing so hunting of the animals to obtain its skin and hair and bones and home uh, horns one horse uh, rhino you know even the we are uh, killing the elephant for his tusk and nails is also responsible so this is also the reason of destruction of wildlife as we are hunting them then the over exploitation of the forest made by human for is greedy mo motives such as a road multi purpose projects mining minerals expansion of new settlements or the cities displaces the wild animals now when we are attacking to their homes where they will go where the animals will go birds or sp uh, small insects or any other species living organism where they will reside as we are attacking their homes for our like you know uh, very foolishly we are doing this activities and very selfless uh, selfie uh, selfish uh, motive we are having so the over exploitation of the forest made by the human for his greedy motive this is our greediness what else this is our greed only so such a, as a road and the multi purpose projects mining minerals and the expansion of a new settlement or the cities displaces the wild animals and so they have to compulsory they have to leave the place or they can't survive in other habitat okay because their body their modification they uh, tend to live for that area and now as we are uh, taking their uh, abort or we are attacking or there it is not possible for them to survive in other place so that is also a reason for destruction of wildlife forest land are being uh, in encroach for the grass fuel of the grazing the forest fire engulfs engulfs many species when the forest fire occur at that time of rearing the young ones of the birds hatching the eggs is created a negative impact on the number of wild animals see this is also a important point forest lands are being encroached for a grass fuel and for the grazing okay we are approaching the forest land for the grazing and for the grass and the fuel like you know we are cutting and we are interfering in this the forest fire jungle ki aag it can be the naturally it can be the artificial as well so the forest fire engulf the many species when the forest fire occur at that time of the rearing the young ones of the birds or hatching the eggs it creates a negative impact now number of uh, birds and animals might be they are hatching their uh, eggs they might be having the young ones so they can run from the fire uh, forest fire but what about the young ones what about the eggs so that is how this type of uh, young ones or the eggs destroyed so it creates a negative impact on the number of wild animals due to the loss of their 
uh, natural habitat many animals without any abort come into the conflict with the man and sometimes even lost their lives obviously as we are entering to their homes they do not have the homes to live so they came to come with the uh, they come in the conflict with the human being they even they need a shelter they want a food they want a water so where they will go so they will come in a contract uh, contact with the man and there will be the conflict and as we human are more powerful than any animals okay so due to the loss of their natural habitat many animals without any abort come into the conflict with the man and sometime even lost their life so this is also the reason hunting to pursue uh, procure the biomedicine of things which make the perfume also bring the species on the verge of extinction now we like to use a perfume and many products uh, animal products we like and to get this product we are uh, killing the animals so that is also the reason what we can say so due to the loss of their natural habitats many animals without any abort come out and they come to the into the conflict with the animals and sometimes even lost their lives even hunting to pro uh, procure the biomedicine which makes the perfume also bring the species on the verge of extinction now see here you can see in the slide percentage cause of wildlife decline uh, globally first is a 38% that is a exploitation hunting and fishing see this is the proportion habitat degradation that is a uh, 31% then 13% habitat loss 7% is a climate change 5% is a invasive uh, invasive species 4% is a pollution and only 2% uh diseases uh, by which the animals or bird get infected now see the all are the reason causes of extinction of the animals and birds now measures of prevention of wildlife first we discuss about the deforestation then we talk about the impact of deforestation then we talk about the remedies for the forest conservation now we talk about the wildlife diversity what the beautiful diversity we are having and wildlife on extinction now and what are the reason for the destruction of the wildlife now we know the problem we know if we want to survive nicely if our future generation want to survive nicely we have to save our environment so what are the ways measure of prevention of the wildlife see students you know in food chain also we know there are primary consumer secondary and we know everything and even we uh, uh, say that we as a human we are on the top of the food chain or the top of in the animal life but the truth is that we can't survive all alone we are totally depend on the nature directly indirectly you know ke uh, a small wasp or the bee is as equally important as like you and me if we remove any chain any particular insect or the bird from the food chain entire food chain will be collapse so it shows the interdependence in nature no one is in the super power mode okay we as a human we should respect and we have to respect if we want to live very nicely very uh, you know healthy life then we have to respect now see entire world is facing pandemic corona pandemic it's a small virus it's a virus you know the definition of the virus you know the def uh, differences between the virus bacteria and fungus okay a small virus like you know entire world like now tired we are tired of, uh, because of this virus so you understand what is the power of every single individual a living organism so measure of prevention of wildlife what type of measure we should take we now understand if we want to live nicely we want to live healthy life we have to respect the nature 
it is for us if we want to live safely with a nice in nice condition we have to uh, protect them okay so measure of prevention of wildlife how we can prevent the wildlife so it necessary to change our attitude and pre, uh, perception towards the forest now we have to change our mind we have to change our uh, like you know thoughts and behavior towards the environment now we should understand now we know the importance of nature and importance of other animals and the living organism all living non living organisms as we are dependent on them everyone shows the interdependence so here it is necessary to change our attitudes and we consider it is a source of ultimate income which is a mistake it is not a ultimate source of income but it is a ultimate source of to live the healthy life income we can get from other resource but if we will going to harm if we will going to destroy our environment it is not possible for us to live a strong and a good life it must be preserved only then the natural habitat for the wildlife can be saved if we will protect the environment if we will protect the forest then and then only animals birds insects can live if they can survive then and then, then and then only we can survive nicely so in other word what we can say if we want to survive we have to save the forest then maintain the balance of the number between the herbivores and the carnivores in the forest this point we have talked in a pre uh, smaller classes also the uh, balance between the herbivores and the carnivores should be maintained see uh, one nice thought or nice uh, word what we know that god is having a very good plan whatever is happening na it is happened for good ishwar ne jo bhi kiya hai na soch samajh ke kiya hai everything like you know everything in a proper way and it's very well planned there is not a single mistake in god's wish and god's plan so maintain the balance of numbers between the herbivores and carnivores in the forest for this step like the maintaining the water sources in the forest and restriction of grazing of domestic animals should be taken and how we can balance the uh, ratio between the herbivores and carnivores if see there will be the more population of the herbivores the grazing will be more there will be the problem if there is a more number of carnivores then also for their food they will kill the domestic animals so again more or the less pest uh, grazing field will be there so that is also the major problem major issue what we can say so maintain the balance of number of the herbivores and the carnivores in the forest and for this steps like the maintaining the water sources in the forest and restriction of grazing of the domestic animals should be taken so this point also we should keep in mind then there should be a strict law of ban hunting this is the point we have to keep in mind or you know very important point to consider that there should be a totally ban on hunting why should we kill any animal it is not so okay without that skin or a bone or without that we can't survive so there should be a totally ban so there should be a strict law of a ban of hunting those laws should be implemented very harshly and strict action should be taken if anyone is hunting or killing any animal there should be a strict harshly punishment should be there hence punishment should be inflicted for the illegal uh, mining in forest area and a fine should be imposed so this point is very important in that we have to keep in mind it is necessary to make a such a arrangement which would not disturb the animal during their procreative periods see students now you are in class class 10th and you know reproduction cycle in animals birds and in humans so during this cycle the during this period animals should not get disturbed in their environment so this is also important point 
सो इट इज नेसेसरी टू मेक सच अ अरेंजमेंट विच वुड नॉट डिस्टर्ब द एनिमल्स ड्यूरिंग दे आर प्रोक्रिएटिव पीरियड सो दिस पॉइंट वी विल कीप इन माइंड अ स्टडी शुड बी मेड अबाउट द likely effect of fisheries forest gathering and tourism in the forest and steps should be taken accordingly number of awareness program should be arranged so a study should be made about the likely effect of fisheries forest gathering and the tourism in the forest and steps should be taken accordingly program should be arranged to bring the widespread awareness in the society this is again the more important point that there should be awareness there should be awareness of the importance of wildlife how every single organism whether it is a like you know single cell organism to the multicellular like us all are having the equal importance in the ecosystem so this type of awareness should be there if the wildlife protection Uh, forces in inactive then the pressure should be brought on them and the world work should be given priority and the, there should be a certain wildlife uh, law should be imposed wildlife protection force if it is a uh, inactive that as a volunteer we should work and then the pressure should be brought on them to be active so this all are the point that we should keep in mind so this all are the measure of prevention of wildlife so student what we have discussed in this lecture first wildlife diversity we know that india is having the wonderful diversity and more than 81 251 different species are present in our country so there is a large diversity in climate and physiography in india and due to this geographical diversity a large variation is seen among the insects birds and animals we stood on the 12th rank in biodiversity so uh, even animals from the asia europe and africa are seen in indian uh, say for example african jirak european wolf wild goat kashmiri deer elephants and gibbons from the southeast asia are found in our country the biodiversity of india include the black bear one horse rhino deer different types of snake peacock gorat that is a bustard uh, hawk kingfisher flamingo and this all are the biodiversity what we can see in our country and in entire world india is the only place where the two big cat family cat species tiger and lion can uh, freely moving in their natural abode and point that what we will keep in mind now is Gujarat in the entire world Gujarat is a place that all three big cat family species tiger lion and leopard is found now due to many reasons number of animals are wildlife on the extinction so what are they so today many wild animals in the world are on the verge of extinction so what are the reason ultimately we the humans are responsible for this activities so tiger were found throughout the india during the last century but now it is restricted on a few area of the country even the some of them like the vulture uh, other species like the vulture duck with the pink throat cranes owls are on the verge of extinction in our country chitro uh, chilotro bird once widespread seen in the arunachal pradesh now it is uh, specially you have to go in the foresty area or the dark area there is a danger of survival to the alligators and the fresh water river and the ganga river dolphin so a uh, number of projects are, have been started to save them the number of sea turtle approaching the coast of odisha and gujarat now it is decreasing so this all are the animals so a time has come for us to think about this seriously as they all are also important they are the part of the ecosystem so number of steps we should we have to take if we want to live nicely then what are the reason for the destruction of the wildlife in that we discuss due to the human interferences grassland and watersheds area of the forest the natural habitat of the wild animals is put in danger even the destruction of forest is the main reason uh, responsible for the natural imbalance uh, it's a final impact is the reduction in the number of wild animals 
then hunting the animals of obtain the hair skin horn and the nails is also the responsible uh, that is also cause uh, of the destruction of the wildlife and the over exploitation of the forest made by the hunting for the progress purpose that is a motive such as the road multi purpose project the mining purpose mineral purpose mining of minerals and the expansion of a new settlement and this all are the reason even the forest land are being uh, encroached for the grasses fuels and the grazing the forest for uh, find the angles many species when the forest fire occurs so forest fire is also one of the reason due to the loss of their natural habitat many animals without any abord come to the conflict with the human so this is also one of the reason destruction of the wildlife and hunting to pro procure the bio medicine and the things which make the perfume also bring the species on the verge of extinction so this all are the reason for the destruction of the wildlife so after uh, understand the reason of the destruction of the wildlife so what are the measure what are the prevention measure we should take so in that we discuss that the it is necessary to change our attitudes and perception towards the forest we need to change our uh, attitudes and we consider it is a source of ultimate income and which is a mistaken and it must be preserved only if the natural habitat for the wildlife can be saved maintaining the balance of herbivorous and carnivorous animal that is also important point then there should be a strict laws to ban the hunting there should be a strict laws so those laws should be implemented very harshly uh heavy punishment should be inflicted for the illegal mining in forest area and a fine should be imposed so punishment should be there then it is necessary to make a such a arrangement which would not be disturb the animal during the their pro reactive period that is in the during the reproductive forest so this all are the points that we should keep in mind or to measure the or preservation of the wildlife now students this is your homework for the day answer the following question you have to give this to answer give the reason for the destruction of wildlife you have to give the reason what is the reason for the destruction of the wildlife and second measure of prevention of wildlife this both question is very important for uh, your exam purpose as well so this two question you have to give the answer so first is give reason for the destruction of wildlife and measure of prevention of wildlife so uh, students in next lecture we will continue this lesson and we will going to dis uh, discuss about the wildlife protection schemes different schemes and the sanctuaries and the national park and rest of the part of this lesson so take care thank you and goodbye